There we go. Hello, everyone. I hope we're I hope we're on and I hope you're live with me. This is Lisa Harden coming to you live from the Stampy Zoo on a very blustery and dirty <laughs> day in Boise, Idaho. Can you believe that? Yes, dirty. It's been raining. And apparently we're also the recipients of a dust storm from a dry lake bed in Oregon, if you want the specifics. And so everything is covered in a really nice layer of mud. <laughs> yes, the cars, the windows. I went after work uh, to try and get the car washed and the line was longer than at Starbucks. So I was like, all right, forget it. <laughs> That's not happening today, but you can hardly see out the windows. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we're going to do something that's a lot more fun than that. We're going to do an unboxing. Yay! Thank you for waiting for me for a few moments there. I, um, apparently my mouse needed a new battery. Of course, I didn't know that until I restarted the computer, just assuming it was because of the storms today. It's always the last thing you suspect, right? And it also looks like at least my phone quality is a little kooky right now. Not so sharp as it usually is. So let's hope that improves. But the good thing is we are not going to be, well, kind of the good thing. <laughs> We're not going to be making any projects today. Okay. So, um, you do not need to worry about following me with all of that. What we are going to do is we are going to do a good old fashioned unboxing. I haven't even sorted it. It's still all in its crinkly cellophane. And yes, it's a ton of beautiful items from the pre-order that's available from our upcoming 22 to 23 catalog. This catalog and everything in it, well, almost everything in it probably, will go live to customers on May 3rd. Yes, May 3rd. If you are a demonstrator, you can order from the very large pre-order list of which I'll be showing you. Uh, you can order from that tonight, or if you would like, or I mean, you can order from this um, now until, you know, May 3rd. Or if you're not a demonstrator, but after you see everything that I've gotten, you fall in love with things and you would like to have them now, <laughs> because we all have a little bit of FOMO, don't we? Yes, we do. It's actually what got me into um, signing up for to be a demonstrator in the first place. And the rest is history, right? But um, long story short, if you want some of these products that I'm gonna be showing you tonight, and you're not a demonstrator currently, but you do live in the United States, I would love to be your team leader. And so you just need to private message me and I can help you get some of these products tonight. You can order $99 of any products for, uh, nope, you can order $125 of any products available from this pre-order or anything else for $99 plus tax. And you also get a free, I believe it's a voucher now for a paper pumpkin kit. You get business supplies. You will also, um, I do believe, get a box of these catalogs. So eight of these catalogs for yourself and all of your friends. So if any of that sounds good to you, and honestly, it really should, uh, just sit back and enjoy looking at all of the products I'm going to show you. And then you can send me a message and tell me you would like to sign up to be on uh, my team and we will take it from there. That's as easy as it is. <laughs> okay, with that, I would love to show you this catalog inside, but I cannot. They will kick me out of stamping up. <laughs> but I will show you the back, and of course the front, which has a beautiful um, offering, and I don't even remember, did I order this? Was this available? I don't remember right now. We're gonna find out, okay? So uh, without further ado, and again, I will try to maybe organize these in some way, but it is literally just a box of goodies here. You probably want to see that part. Look at it. Oh, isn't it delicious? It's just delicious. Like, I'd rather have this than a big slice of pie right now. Eh, maybe I'll have the pie later. Anyway, uh... Let's see if I can pull something. I'm pulling something right now. You'll be surprised that I got this. 
it's a set of stamps for masculine cards. But you know what? It's so cool. And wait until you see the dies. They are way cool. Uh, let's see. And this is part of a suite. So it's got a few things that go with it. Let me grab the things that I know go with it. But like I said, we may find, we may find that later on um, there were more things to add to it, right? So uh, look at this. He's all that. And look at these images. I absolutely loved them. Um, I think they're great. And I think they're, I mean, maybe with the exception of a few of them, they're, they're not necessarily, you know, just for men, right? Ladies like this too. Ladies grill. Okay. Ladies travel. I, in fact, I have somebody in my book club who hikes and writes book about, writes books about hiking. And I think I should give that to her. Maybe I, maybe I would mask this out every day with you as another adventure. That's kind of odd because I don't go hiking with her, but long story short, I guess my point was, um, it's very versatile as always. And I love this one. Hello, handsome with the little stash. I should give this to, um, my niece, Catalina, her fiance. He has, he's kind of a very cool hipster looking guy. And, um, he would like that. <laughs> so see, I already have ideas for this and I don't usually buy masculine stamps. You know this. Um, I have a hard time with them. They kind of intimidate me a little bit, uh, but we're going to, we're going to make a go of it because I loved this. And I will tell you, do not judge me. I know you won't judge me, but there is a die in here that made me purchase all of this stuff. So we are going to get that out right now. And while I do that, I am going to say hello to everyone. Oh my gosh. Hi, Alicia. Alicia, I thought we were on the outs. I thought you dumped me. I'm so glad to see you here. And um, I also saw that Anne jumped on and Anne shared. If you would be so kind, it costs nothing to share this video onto your social media websites. It's very easy. You can even post in the comments. If you don't know how, post in the comments and ask me. I will tell you. I appreciate it so much, and it does help my little business, The Stamping Zoo, to grow. I love getting new customers and reaching out to new viewers and just enjoying meeting new people just like all of you, right? Hello, Leslie. Leslie, I was thinking of you so much today because of this... Um, dirt storm that's mixing with rain. It's really, I was like, this is probably just a touch of what uh, Leslie feels sometimes. Okay. So here are these super cool dies. And of course, some of them work with the, uh, these really nice, I, I would call them labels. So, oh, look at that one. That's really cool. It's not quite a scallop. It's more like a, a beer bottle or something. I mean, I don't know. That's just what it looks like to me. What's wrong with me? Um, and then all of these really great dies, and they all have sorts of beveled edges on them. This right here, are you dying? Is it just me? When I saw this in the catalog, I was like, that's it, I need it. This little argyle, look at it. Can you just imagine this? And I'm totally not even, I mean, first I was thinking about it in pink. So, I mean, that's why immediately then I was like, I need this, sweet. I don't care. It's for men. Great. And actually, I really like these shapes as I'm looking at them. Look at this beautiful little oval. I'm sure this goes with something. Oh, it goes with this one. Holy smokes. You're amazing. So um, it's also kind of nice to open these products as is sometimes because you know that I put lots of things on magnet sheets and I have things prepared. Well, somewhat um, when I come live with you, but this is how your new products will, will arrive to you from Stampin' Up. These do, these are not like dies from other companies. They don't come um, all attached and then you have to take wire clippers to them. Uh, I've tried some of those before. Not that great. So anyway, it's just, these are really nice. They're smooth. They are constructed well stainless or stainless steel. They are steel and um, they can be used over and over and over again, right? Well beyond when I will be using them, they will go to another home and they'll be used to death. So 
Please don't worry about the quality of Stampin' Up! products if you have yet to purchase anything like, uh, what? But um, just don't ever worry about that. Worst case scenario, uh, because no one's perfect. If there is ever anything wrong with your products, we have a 90 day exchange um, uh, guarantee, I guess, a 90 day exchange warranty offering. And um, you do, you know, there are some, some, some things that you need to um, adhere to. You can't like set this on fire and then want to return it. Okay, we're not going to take it. <laughs> I'm not even going to ask for you. But anyway, if you find anything that's like materially wrong with your products, you just talk to me if you ordered them from me and we take care of it. Okay, it's as simple as that because this is a reputable company. They've been in business uh, 33 years at least. And um, they're not going anywhere, okay? So we are just here for the long haul. Now look at these. These are beautiful. These are also part of the suite. Rustic, what was it called? Rustic Metallic Adhesive Back Dots. I don't even really need to take those out. They are very close to something that we currently have that is going to um, carry over. Let me see if I can find, well, here's a package the brushed metallic adhesive back dots what and these are called rustic metallic okay sometimes stamping up can we get some different names <laughs> i'm gonna be uh tongue-tied when i'm trying to talk about these because they're current they're opening both gonna be current at the same time but just know that they go together right they're beautiful so these are the brand new ones these are the ones that are carrying over because they're so popular and of course, all our adhesive backed. So you just need to use your little take your pick tool to um, just pull these off really easily. And what? You don't have a take your pick tool? Well, get one. I have three and probably could use about five. Um, but get one. It's only $10. It also has um, an optional die brush roller that comes with some, um, like sponge, uh, I don't know, some sponge squares to roll this on, to work, to work on little uh, intricate pieces from your die cut. So this is a great tool to have, uh, not brand new in the catalog, but we just keep using it. So, and I hope, oh my gosh, I hope they don't retire it anytime soon. So here's the paper, you know, the paper is always a stunza, right? It's a stunner. And we are gonna take a look at this. So this is the, he's the man, 12 by 12 specialty designer series paper. And that's how you have to say it. He's the man. Okay. Hello, Carla. Oh, thank goodness, never on the outs. Okay, good. Hello, Mary Ellen, Wendy Montana. I'm sure my friend. And Leslie, you haven't done a pre-order yet. I know, right? What the heck? I can't believe that. <laughs> You're even a day ahead of me, Leslie. Um, I didn't get up at 3 a.m. when the catalog went live, but I did set the alarm and get up early before work <laughs> so I could place the order. Look at this fun pattern. So, I mean, it has all of these really cool barbecue-like, um, you know, icons. And then, but they aren't just plain. They even have like a little textured uh, print on them. I'm trying to show these to you full screen. I just think it's kind of fun to do that. Oh, look at this one. And then they've kind of capitalized on all these like uh, male clothing things or the mustache, the shoes. I love that. I really like that. Oh, and then this is nice. I really enjoy these these papers that are really dark like this because they lend themselves so well to, again, I, you know I'm girly, right? But when you throw like pink on them, they really, this just makes it pop. It's like another way instead of just always using black. Um, and yes, I know it was made for men, but um, girls can like it too. <laughs> I guarantee you, some of you ladies are going to get a card from me using this paper. So there's another print. I guess I shouldn't wait. I, sh I should speed it up a little bit. Sorry. I can't help it though. This is beautiful. 
get this one. Oh my gosh. So that's all capitalizing on all the cars and these like emblems in the back. Ooh, and then just another great kind of a basket weave. And then finally, here comes that Argyle print, which again, I'm just totally picturing in pink. I can't wait to get my pink Argyle on. <laughs> and ooh, that's nice. Andrea, you love this suite? I think I do too already. Now let's see, this is really cool. What is this? I think, well, it might just be circles, but again, it's really textured. It almost looks like a tire. Oh, and this part's fun. This is a little different from, from our other um, packages of DSP. So they have included, let's see, two of these 12 by 12 sheets of die cuts. And so all of these just pop out and you can make cards with absolutely no stamping at all. And um, they're a little different than the stamps. So you have all these different sentiments and, but of course they all coordinate. Oh, this is fun. Like here's a holy smokes, you're the best, but it has a fire instead of uh, the barbecue tongs. You make me hoppy, see that? <laughs> that is cute. And then finally we have, ooh, I like this. Of course I like that. It's beautiful. I think that is soft succulent or that Karan. But it doesn't matter because if you don't know the colors, it's no big deal. It's just like everything else. Stampin' Up! Color coordinates everything. And they give us all the information for the papers on the labels. So this right here tells you the name, of course. This is going to be your item number for ordering. And then it tells you the colors. There are basic black, Cajun craze, crushed curry, early espresso, Sahara sand, and soft succulent in this pack of paper. And then you can just grab those coordinating cardstocks or inks. And before you know it, you've made a stack of cards and you didn't have to figure out what matched or what coordinated with what because Stampin' Up! does all that for you. But by the same token, if you want to go off on your own direction and use your own colors, that's perfectly fine. Hello, Lori, and thank you so much for sharing. Your daughter's name is Andrea Cox. <laughs> that's so cute, Kathy. <laughs> is that Andrea Cox, your daughter? <laughs> Probably not. That would be too funny, but she's welcome. She's welcome anytime. Okay, so that is this sweet. It may or may not have something else with it. I don't remember, but I think that's what was with it. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Look at this. Sit, stay, relax. So uh, my teammate and I, Maria, we were looking at the catalog because we can, you know, because we're demonstrators. And um, not saying that to torture you, just like I said at the beginning of this video, it's super easy. And you need to be just your only customer if you want. It's not like you don't have to come on and live and act crazy like I do. Um, you can just, you know, be your own customer. So anyway, this is a hostess set, a host set. It will be available to you once you spend $150, then you get host rewards of 10% and it just climbs from there. So it can be a party. You can get some friends together, organize the party and do all the work for it. And that can be your little payoff. And actually I was looking in the back. I cannot show you the catalog. Don't Lisa, you'll get in trouble. Uh, but this stamp will only be $13 when you order it um, as part of a hostess, hostess rewards after May 3rd. You can order it now as a demonstrator. Um, let's see, for the price of $22. So if that tells you, I think it's its, its own cute, beautiful stamp set. It stands on its own. Um, Okay, it's a great cling set, which I love. And look at all of these fun ones. It even has cats in it. And you know, I'm not, I mean, they're fine, but um, I am happy to have a few cat things that I like now to send to my cat friends. Because, you know, kitty cat lady. 
Um, I never send her anything with a cat on it. And so I really liked these images. And of course, this dog is adorable. So just very cute. You feel like home to me, missing you, hi friend. And I like the casualness of this font. I, I don't know what else to call it, but I just like that. So, and this is going to be so fun to color, right? With your colored pencils and your blending brush like we did last time. Or, um, of course, your blends. Let's see what else I have. Ooh, another sweet look at this. How many of you who's looked at the catalog checked this out? You probably did because it's like the first thing in the catalog. So, it is a sweet it has a lot of cute things with it. Give me just one moment to, um, oh my gosh, the paper. You will die. You will just die of cuteness because the paper coordinates all of our new 22 to 24 in colors. And wowza, it's so cool. And I have all of the in colors. We will be going through that. Uh, momentarily, I'm sure. I have all of those. Oh my gosh, they're, they make me so happy. They are so beautiful. Okay, I think I got it. Yes. Okay, so again, stamp set and dies. All right. This one is photopolymer. It's clear. And um, I'm sure, or at least one of the reasons, is because you want to be able to see when you are where you are positioning all of these little items that you can put in or near the teacups. First of all, the teacups are awesome. Think about this one. So where it's dark, it's going to be any color that you use. So think about that teacup in polished pink. <laughs> Again, um, I'm on the polished pink kick, huh? Well, you could also think about that teacup in rich razzleberry. Oh, I love it. And then use like old olive or something for the screenery. Anyway, it's a super fun and um, it's just a super fun stamp set that you can build all of these little images. It is two step stamping, right? So um, we can color a lot of the images just by using our ink. And then the thing that's really fun is look at all of these sentiments and they're not huge uh, because I do believe most of these fit on um, the little, what do I call this? I don't know, the tea label thing. <laughs> the tea label. I should have thought about that before I came live, didn't I? Shouldn't I? Take care of yourself. I love this. Let's get together soon. Um, one thing that uh, I want you to know is that this and the, as I'm showing you all of these products, the vast majority of these products are going to be what's going to be available um, as classes in my two-day stamp stamptacular. I can hardly say it. I'm so excited. My two-day stamptacular, uh, which is going to be May 20th and 21st. It will be local, uh, in person. Do we even know how to act in person anymore? I'm not sure about myself but I'm sure you guys will be fine. Um, but I will also have an online option and it's going to be a lot of fun. So please just keep in mind, I will be, uh, as soon as I can in the next few days, I'm going to be making a few examples and taking pictures and getting all of the registration things ready so that, uh, we can make sure we get all of our cool products. So more to come on that, hopefully by the weekend, okay? And then here's all of these fantastic dies. Now like it, they're not huge. They're, you're going to use like a few of the images at least to cover a card front. And you can also use them on smaller sizes of cards. It's really fun to do smaller sizes of cards, isn't it? And then here's this gorgeous paper. Yes, the tea bag. Thank you, Kay. I don't know why I was having trouble with that. Kathy says, I'd love for you to compare the blue to Night of Navy or Misty Moonlight. I can do that. Um, yes, we'll definitely be doing that. I think it's a little more clear um, when I show you examples when I have the ink pads out. So we will be doing that. Oh, this is fun. Okay, this is a big stack of six by six paper. 
Tea Boutique. And it does have some other colors in it, as well as the uh, five new in colors, which we'll be talking about shortly. But I think you probably get four pieces of each design. Yeah, you do. And as always, double-sided. Oh, look at these. Oh, man. Now, I'm already thinking of people, specific people, that are going to love this. But, of course, who's not going to like getting just this fresh, springy-looking paper with a nice little sentiment on it? Even if you didn't want to use the um, tea bags or the tea cups, there are a lot of sentiments in here, which is really fun. So, look at all those. Wow. I love it. Okay. Uh, let's get back to the paper. Oh, they see these are just kind of whimsical uh, prints that are going to be great for lots of things for 3D projects and for, um, of course, using coordinating with the stamp set. That's fun. It almost looks like a photograph. Wow. Oh, very good. Oh, this is nice. Going to go with, oh, I think I prefer that. <laughs> If I had to choose, I would use all that stripes. All of those stripes, they're so cool. So kind of some smaller prints, I think in fabric, we would call this like ditzy. Isn't this what this is called? Ditzy print. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. Maybe somebody was just calling me ditzy. And then this is fun. Oh gosh, this red is the sweet, I believe it's called sweet sorbet. Isn't that pretty? Wow. It's like Poppy Parade only amped up. The five new in colors are so up my alley. Any of you have seen them, that's not going to surprise you because they are really bright. Um, not in a bad way, in a good way. I love them so much. Ooh, that's really fun. And um, this is cool. And you could cut strips of this and use it for bookmarks. That's what I'm immediately thinking as I see that. Maybe that will be something I make for some lovely customers. Now, if you are wondering, like, sure, I want to order from it, but I don't have a catalog. All you have to do is send me your mailing address. As long as you live in the United States, and I would prefer it if you're not working with another demonstrator, because of course, if you're working with another demonstrator, you get your catalog from them. Um, but if you would like a catalog, you just need to ask me for it and I will get one in the mail to you. Not right now. Um, I'm not going to be, I don't have them right now, first of all. And um, I'm going to hold off on that for just a little bit because I want to make sure that I have something cute to go with them. So, you know what, Kathy? I feel like I need the, I like the side two on these papers a little more also. Yeah. That's why we have two choices. Okay, and then this is the real, like, the score. Definitely the score. Yeah, stripes and polka dots are for everything and everyone. Hello, Jean. She's going to come back later. Okay, you can come back later and catch the beginning. Oh, gosh, these are beautiful. Okay, so these are, it's a Memories and More card pack, but it's not, let's see, what's the measurement? See, I thought they'd be four by six. Maybe they're not memories and more. Maybe they're just cards and envelopes. Yeah, they're four and a quarter by five and a half. So there are standard US sized cards. And oh, fun. Oh my goodness. I need to take some vacation. <laughs> okay, so just look at these. And all of this, of course, coordinates, combines with. Everything I've just shown you in all that paper pack, some of them look like they're the same designs, but uh, of course, you don't have to add a layer. They're already made for you. And then they have these absolutely gorgeous envelopes to go with them. This is quite a deal. Uh, let's see. Just those by themselves are... See, I'm just learning this catalog, so... Um, I will get the hang of it and have all that stuff in my noggin for you. The cards and envelopes, all of these cards and envelopes is $10. I always think our cards and envelopes um, are really a steal. 
And this is a nice weight. It's not like flimsy. It's for card making. So that is beautiful. And I love this little slice. Lemon, orange, lime, whatever you want to make it, right? Oh my goodness. So happy. Okay, I love the versatility of this stamp set. Uh, it does come with dies. One moment. Oh, what's that? Oh, okay. That's for something else. <laughs> Sorry, getting sidetracked. Getting sidetracked. Can't help it. Sending dies. It must be this. Sending dies. So, this is the Sending Smiles. Just take a look at this for just one moment. Look at all of these sentiments, first of all, and then all of these pieces and parts where you're going to be able to create your own colors of flowers. So everything is dark because um, you don't need to ink, or sorry, you don't need to color these. You just need to stamp them. And then whatever, whatever color of ink you use, that's what they're going to be. So they might be fresh freesia, but of course they don't make you stamp the whole flower in the same color. They give you the stems, the leaves, all these little pieces. And then really like the genius part of this set is it has a very large sending and the sending goes with all of these sentiments. You can mix it into all of these little strip sentiments. I love these because I tend to really like to have, um, to have a large image with a little sentiment. I don't know. That's just what I can tell as I make my cards. I'm always like, I'll put a tiny sentiment on something, but I want a large image. But then these dies, mm -hmm. as usual, it's what steps it up. This is a perfectly fine stamp, stamp set or set of stamps on its own. You don't always have to get the dies. Um, just remember, you're not locked into purchasing that. However, if you purchase new bundles um, from new catalogs, they're marked at 10% off. So if you purchase these together, they are 10% off. I will tell you, myself and other demonstrators <laughs> learn this lesson. Early on, we think, ah, it's all right. I just need the dies or I really just need the stamp. And then life goes on and it's fine, right? And then we see someone, let's say I buy the dies. I see someone make a card with the stamps and suddenly it doesn't matter what I'm doing. I must have this stamp set now. <laughs> and then I pay for it without getting my 10% extra discount. So anyway, I'm just letting you know that um, I am cognizant and respect everyone's budget, but sometimes face it, you're going to get talked into it because, you know, we can't help ourselves. We make beautiful uh, images and then, you know, you might want them. So here's the cool thing is the sending can be a stamp that you can die cut. Okay. Or you can die cut the word sending out of cardstock. Okay, well, this isn't going to match it because um, these images are smaller than the stamp. The stamps is a little bit larger. So you can actually cut out the word sending, okay, just like this. And so you just stamp it. It would be one layer. Or you can use this and cut it out and then use this as your bubble layer, right? We have some stamps right now. They're called Amazing You. I've worked with them a lot because I'm in love with them. And um, so you know what they look like. Anyway, and they're just like that. But of course, there's more. You can cut out, I believe, all of these shapes. So if you wanna create a lot of dimension you can have your flowers popped up on dimensionals or all different colors, right? And all cut out or stamped on one layer. You can do both. And then all of these are going to go in these beautiful little label dies. Look at those. And so they also have a bevel. They're not just a straight cut. They have a little bevel to them and they're going to be 
really cool. And yes, one of my classes is going to be um, featuring this bundle. So never fear. I'm going to have a lot of different ideas for you to use this. Okay, so that is sending smiles. All right. Ooh, now here's a set of dies that you're going to want. Um, shocker. But it doesn't have a stamp set. It just um, is a standalone. And I think if you guys remember, we had the stamp, we had the die set called Stitched Shapes. Um, this might be like a, a little bit of a replacement for that, right? So this one's called Stylish Shapes. Okay. Hello, Debbie and Amy and Pam. Hi, ladies. I love it. Okay. Let's check it out. Stylish Shapes. Oh, yes. Look at that. So you get several different circles, several different squares, and then banner dies. Four banner dies. Five squares. Six circles. And here's the pattern. You know what? This pattern looks like uh, looks like what was on the nested label something stitched nested label dies. Do you remember that? It's Jen Houston's favorite, or it was. Um, so that is what that looks like. This is, like I said, it's a standalone. Um, when I can start showing you in the catalog, of course, I can show you where it is, but just look in the back if you have the catalog, but it's just a die set, okay? But it is marked with a little red N to let you know that it's new. Okay, this is fantastic. You know that we all love black and white paper because beside the fact that you can make um, all the other colors pop on it, um, you can use it for all your coloring, right? You can color this with blends, with colored pencils. You can use um, the water-based markers. You can spritz it. You can, I don't even know what, you can ink it, um, whatever you want. And this is a beautiful set. So again, it's just big sheets of 12 by 12. Oh gosh, and they are all black and white. This one even looks like, I mean, it's kind of like lighter, like some gray, but isn't this fun? Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's, I'm guessing it's gonna be line drawings on one side and then patterns on the other. So lots of things to um, explore with this. That's cute, that could even be starfish. And we have a lot of ocean-based designs right now. So that would fit in just great. Okay, here's some more beautiful flowers. You can color, oh, this is fun. Look at that. That is very whimsical to me um, because these things are like different sizes and they're not a straight line and stuff. So fun. Hello, Roxanne, you love these dyes? I will too, I'm sure. I'm sure I will love them. Oh, that's cool. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Okay, I'll stop short. But that is very pretty. I like that. Oh my gosh. I want to sit and color this tonight. I think I will. I'll report back. <gasps> wow. These are such cool designs, you guys. I mean, look at this. It's like designs layered on top of each other. Who thinks this stuff up? I don't know, but I'm glad they're around. Here's another one. Totally beautiful as is. Again, um, if you put like a sentiment, cut out, cut this out. Put it on your card front, make a sentiment, and you're good to go. Okay, I'm gonna hold that one out. I really am gonna color it tonight. Why not? It's so beautiful. Which one was I gonna color? I've forgotten already. Oh, this one. I don't know why, it's just kinda cool. Oh, so pretty. Okay, so that is a standalone pack of paper. You know we have the best paper in quality and in design. Okay, I think we're very close. Yeah, we're very close to doing, oh, here's some gumball shakers, gumball machine shaker domes. Those aren't new, but they're for Anne, my customer. So, Anne, gotcha, gotcha covered. <laughs> Andrea, this paper makes me happy too. My gosh, I know, it's gonna be so fun. Okay, now here's something that's kind of cool. 
This is, it was part, or it is part of um, a bundle. It's vellum. And so it's vellum layers sold with a botanical inspired stamp set that I didn't get, right? We'll see. But this one's called Lovely Layers. And these layers are three and three quarters by five. So it's pre-cut and um, pre-printed vellum layers. And this looks a lot like the stamps that are in the stamp set. But isn't this fun? So it's just an extra layer to add to your cards. And of course, three and three quarters by five is a very standard layer that I use, that most card makers use, um, US card makers at least. So let's see, can I put this back in here? Yes, I can. So a lot of it is just plain. Some of it has circles. Look at that. You could make, like add some um, leaf elements to it and then make a wreath. This one just like looks like different shades for um, mountains and a background. Some dots. We love dots. <laughs> so anyway, and it's also, I think it's kind of a sleeper in the catalog. Um, it doesn't show off well, you know, it just has a little picture and it's vellum. So vellum doesn't show off well. So I definitely wanted to be sure that I got that. All right. Hold on to your hats or hold on to your head. If you're not wearing a hat, here come your new in colors. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, I want to kiss them. I want to hug them. I want to hold them tight. They're so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Now, let me mention this, please. I want you to know that you are going to want this cardstock. You are, so don't be silly. Resistance is futile. You're going to want this beautiful cardstock. I will be using it in my May classes. So you'll get some if you purchase my classes. Um, but I want to tell you, there's a couple of different ways to buy cardstock, all of our cardstock. As you can see, you can buy a full package of 24 sheets of the same color. But you can also buy a variety pack. And there is a variety pack in the catalog where you get uh, a few sheets of each of these colors. I think it's like two to four sheets. I don't remember. But just know that if you don't want a full pack of this paper, I don't know why, but if you don't want that, I want you to know that you can buy one package um, and get a few sheets of each. And that's really a nice way to do it too. If you're not quite sure, or if you aren't making like quite as many projects as I am, but these are really, they're going to be my go-tos. I have to tell you, they're so pretty. So I didn't get, there were these, there are these really fun little metallic gems. Um, I didn't get those because they weren't available early in the morning, but of course later in the day they became available. And since I'd already placed <clears throat> two orders, I decided I would show restraint and wait uh, because I'm sure I'm going to be placing another order this week. And so I can get them then, right? Yeah. Uh, but anyway, there's some beautiful dots, um, dot embellishments that go with this. They're glittery and, oh, they're so cute. Yes, the new colors are awesome, Peggy, aren't they? Okay, so here's what's super fun. Of course, we, we get familiar with our new colors. Sweet Sorbet really reminds me of Watermelon Wonder, reminiscent of that color. But again, it's not the same color. Otherwise, they would just say, hey, we're bringing back Watermelon Wonder. Um, but they're giving us lots of different ways to explore using this paper. So, and these, these colors, excuse me. So as I told you, that tea sweet has all of these colors in it. Now, when you buy the ink pad, you know I always recommend buying the reinker because you will need the reinker if you use your ink pad. Um, you know, they last great for a long time, but if you want to keep using it and using it, this lasts for, I don't know, years. So you'll want to reinker. And also, we do lots of techniques that, where we, we use the reinker instead of the stamp pad. Then there's also, oh my gosh, this most gorgeous ribbon. I think there are two different kinds of ribbon, but I don't know that I really care. 
because this is so fun. It's metallic and it's thin. Um, can I open it? I'm not sure. I don't want to pull the ribbon. You know what I mean? Okay. See, this is one thing that I usually do before I go live, huh? Okay. Still? Oh my gosh. Okay, so look at this. Uh, let me see. Look at that. Can you even see it? It's kind of thin, but um, it's so pretty there. I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay. First of all, it feels like air. It's just like nothing. And um, I can't wait to start tying this with twine and with other ribbons, right? Because of course it's thin enough to do that or it just stands alone. It has a nut. It's so light. Oh my gosh. I'm like just dropping it. So of course you can just, as I said, use it on its own it is going to be very lightweight and um, it doesn't, it's not a ton of bulk. It's hard for me to even like show it to you. It's just so airy. There you go. How about that? <laughs> so anyway, it's beautiful and it comes in all of the new in colors. And um, so again, this one is sweet sorbet. We'll do a little stamping with this in just a minute. Let's see, what time is it? 7.55, okay, we're squared away. Then um, this, oh, Tahitian Tide. This also is reminiscent of an old color. Um, Tempting Turquoise, is that what it was? I, I don't remember, but I loved it so much. And this might even be a little brighter. I think it is probably a little brighter, but it's so beautiful. Think of all, again, we have so many images of the sea and the waves, you know, the wave stamp set that's an exclusive right now. Just think about using this Tahitian Tide with that. It is going to liven it up and make it look like just a brand new stamp set. Oh, yes. So here's our really quality ink pads. Um, the stamps, they twist like this because the ink sits on the pad upside down. And it does that so that the ink is always right at the top of your ink pad, which is how you would like it to be, where you'd like it to be when you're going to stamp. Um, we sometimes mash it down into the ink pad for other techniques, but um, most often, at least when I'm stamping, most often I want it at the top of the ink pad anyway. So just let you, just to let you know, if you haven't ever used these before, of course they're fantastic. Yes, I know, Andrea, sometimes the thicker ribbon can give you, you know, let me show you this ribbon that, I'll be honest, I'm not in love with it. It's this white frayed ribbon. It's got a use, but forget tying this, okay? It's not gonna even go into an envelope. You can do a lot of flat, um, you know, designs with it, but it's not for tying. And it's quite fuzzy, but we're not talking about that tonight, are we? We're only talking about the new things. Oh my gosh, hold the phone parakeet party. <gasps> yeah, looks a little bit like lemon lime twist, doesn't it? And I know everybody had a conniption fit when, um, can, when lemon lime twist retired. So here you go. Here's your parakeet party. Now that reminds me of something the Aussies would do as invite parakeets to parties. I will not be inviting parakeets, but I certainly hope that I remember how to party some way. And by party, I mean make cards. That's my partying now. Anyway, super beautiful. Again, we'll stamp with it in just a minute. Um, but a really fresh and pretty color. And I'm loving right now as I'm stacking these colors up, I'm just loving how they look with each other. Yes. Uh, I'm sure that was part of the Stampin' Up! brilliance, right? They know what they're doing. Orchid Oasis. Get out. This is beautiful. This reminds me of a little bit of Wisteria Wonder. What do you guys think? Yeah. Andrea likes parakeet party. 
Okay, as you guys are watching this, I'm going to ask you to tell me your favorite. And so, um, you know, we'll recap. But I expect you to all tell me what your favorite is. Thank you, Andrea. Yes, Baker's Twine. Oh my gosh. And so, of course, you're going to be able to use this with the Baker's Twine that's, that are in the same colors. And the Baker's Twine, I, I believe that was the one thing that wasn't quite available for us right now. I can't believe I wouldn't have ordered it. If I didn't order it and it was available, that was a mistake. I mean, that was just a mistake. I'll fix it. So anyway, this is probably, oh, I don't even know. It's not my favorite color because I don't have a favorite color of these colors right now. I can't do it. Oh, look at this. Starry sky. Wow. That is beautiful. So one thing Kathy Sheely wanted me to do was bring in some of the colors. Okay, so here's a Pacific Point. Um, lots of you know Coastal Cabana, right? And then let me bring in, where is my Night of Navy? Night of Navy. Okay, so let's just do a little comparison, right? Let's get these blues out here. And of course, nothing looks like Tahitian Tide, I don't think. But I can show you right here, like there is Coastal Cabana. Much more green, right? Still um, like a turquoise color, but much more green. And then for the Orchid Oasis, I don't even know. That's Pacific Point. That makes Pacific Point look so dark. That's so funny. And of course, this is Starry Sky, and there's another intense blue, Night of Navy. Let's see, do you wanna see some other colors? Um, balmy Blue, there's Balmy Blue. Balmy Blue is like so much lighter. It might coordinate nicely with this. Um, I don't know, have to see, it might be too close in colors. This, here's Misty Moonlight, which is definitely, it's gonna come off as gray to me um, compared to these colors, but it probably is the closest to the Orchid Oasis, right? In tone, I guess. Let's see here. Oh, Bermuda Bay. You know what Bermuda Bay looks like. Now that's definitely, um, these are gonna be kind of like your blue greens right here. Okay, your Coastal Cabana, Bermuda Bay, but then Tahitian Tide. It's kind of its own thing for sure. Her. And let's see here. Pacific Point is in the brights. So um, that's where that one goes. Whoops. Put that in there. Where is. Oh, I hate to get these things mixed up. All right. And then um, for Parakeet Pate. Walk. Oh, God. That was my parakeet sound. I know, it sounded like one was just here, but didn't it? Brock. <laughs> oh, man. And that is because I live in the West. Uh, the Northern Hemisphere, right? I do not see parakeets. People have parakeets in their house, which I do not think is a good idea, but I'm not judging. Um, however, I know that in Australia, they just fly around. So cool. I've got to get out there someday. I've got to get out there someday. Of course, they have a lot of other weird things that fly around, like the, I don't know, wolf bats or whatever those things are. Okay, this looks like pea soup, doesn't it? This is Old Olive, you know. So here's Parakeet Party. Not the same at all. Here, this is a weird color of pear pizzazz. My label's kind of odd, but um, there is pear pizzazz. It's not nearly as bright but it might be about the same. Uh, here's Granny Apple Green, which is another bright, right? So, and of course I'll be stamping all these as we go along, uh, but this is just our first, kind of our first look getting, uh, this is why you, well, this is why I, I will not speak for you. This is why I need to get the products because as great as the catalog is, I have to look at them and compare them to the other colors and see, like, where do they fit in? Where, who are they gonna play with? And who are they not gonna like, right? So there, this is our sweet sorbet. Here's our real red. Uh, cherry cobbler. 
much different than cherry cobbler. And I also will be interested to take a look at Stampin' Up's color coach. Then I'll probably be putting together my own color coach. So I did that a couple of years ago when we got the new, last year, I guess. Now this looks very close, doesn't that? Poppy Parade and Sweet Sorbet. Um, but of course the proof will be when we actually stamp them. And then finally, another really cool product that we have. And we have this again for all of the color families. They get, they don't get noticed all the time because there are staples. So this is DSP, but it's, it doesn't get a huge billing in the, um, in the catalog. But again, you can buy this kind of package of paper in all of the color families. You can buy it for the brights, the subtles, and every annual catalog, they change the designs of the paper just to keep that fresh, right? But um, it's the same colors with the exception of, of course, these are the new in colors. Okay, so um, again, you're gonna get a couple of different patterns. Whoops, oh, more dots. We love the dots, don't we, Andrea? Yes. <laughs> oh gosh, that's so beautiful. And then these more, these stripes. So, um, and so on. Let me grab this up. So there's all of this. Oh yes. Like, I really like that color. It's so pretty. Not that surprising because it's kind of a, I think that was the orchid color. And it's just goes in there with, with those purples that I love so much. So here are the four new patterns for this paper, for the paper packs, I guess I want to call them. And you're going to get each color is going to have these designs. Okay. Every color in the catalog, except I don't think the neutrals, I don't think we have the neutrals. But um, if you have any questions about that, please let me know because I do, like I said, even me, I am guilty of kind of overlooking these sometimes. And they're like, then when I see someone use them, I think, oh my gosh, wait, where's that beautiful paper from? So this is what the patterns look like. I absolutely love them. I hope you do too. Um, I'm very drawn to the polka dots, but then I go, well, then I like the lines. Well, I love the flowers though, but also I love a plaid. So, and then again, they are double-sided, right? So, um, lots of different choices. This is that starry sky. Excuse me. Starry sky. <laughs> starry, starry night. Oh my gosh. Would you look at that? Well, I'm going to make you look at that. We're going to look at it. It is wow. It's just like, looks so luxe. Seriously, when you get these ribbons, they're different than um, than the other ribbons we have right now. They really are. They're probably like all metallic. And so, like I said, they're just, yeah, they're like, they're half metallic and half nylon. So they're just like light as air, which we kind of like, don't we? Because... If you're like me, what did I, I just said earlier that I like to do lots of layers. And so then, of course, um, I need my ribbon to, like, kind of lay flat sometimes. Come on now. Quit being naughty. Look at this. Cool it. Okay. All right. I had it. Oh, for the love of Pete. Oh, Roz is getting her box tomorrow. Yes, I did have this sent to me overnight. No, it wasn't overnight. It said next day. And of course, I ordered it on Friday. It got here this morning. And do you know what torture that is? Because I wasn't here. I was working. It would have been worse, actually, if I would have been here working. But I was at the office, and I saw on my ring doorbell, I saw the ups man came here at, like, I swear, 830. And I was like, oh, well, this is going to be a long day. It was kind of a long day anyway, friends, because I decided to go over to dinner at my mom's last night. And so I picked up my best friend. We went. It was super fun. 
But then I didn't even leave there until 9.45 because I was, you know, just visiting, eating, all that stuff. And so anyway, I didn't get to bed until about midnight. Probably didn't get to sleep until 1. <sighs> Went into the office. Moved a bunch of numbers around on a piece of paper. Went to two doctor's appointments. And um, then finally got to come home. So I can tell you, after this... I'm probably just going to have a nice little uh, TV night, loving on dogs night. Isn't that stuff fun? Look at these colors together. Don't they make you smile? Well, they better because <laughs> they make me smile. You're going to see a lot of these colors. Okay, I kind of messed those up, didn't I? But it's all right. Doesn't that look beautiful? Look at this. It's so beautiful. Oh, my gosh makes me happy and I cannot wait to start creating classes for all of you with these beautiful new colors incorporating them into our existing line of colors and of course using them as they are now let's get out we can do some stamping really quick I know we have time we can do it um I mean, you know, you're just hanging out in your pajamas, aren't you? Unless you're Leslie, and it's actually in the morning time for you, Leslie. So, falling more, I know, Andrea, falling more and more in love with Orchid Oasis. It keeps catching my eye as I'm going through the patterns and stuff, and so I can tell. Oh my goodness, I forgot to tell you. I don't need to get these out, but we have blends. Oh, look at them. Beautiful blends in all of the colors, right? So you don't have to choose. You don't have to be like, oh darn it, they don't have my favorite color blends. We get all the blends for these. Yay! I can't wait. I'm going to be coloring. I'm going to be coloring my head off. Okay, let's take a look at that. I'm very curious about that flower stamp set, the Sending Smile stamp set. And, um, it's not a distinctive stamp, which I think is handy when you're trying out brand new ink pads, because of course, as most of you know, a distinctive ink pad or a distinctive stamp is one that kind of likes a little less ink, right? And let's just put this on white so we can see the true colors. Oh, I'm so excited. It's like a debut. I would say, <laughs> I would say it's like the Oscars, but I really don't want to go there right now. So I didn't say it, right? I didn't say it. You can't make me say it. <laughs> if any of you watched that um, SNL monologue, then I posted it because I thought it was a brilliant piece of comedy. Oh my gosh. What? I mean, I just kept wondering, of course, like everyone else did. What is SNL going to do with this? And they were brilliant. Brilliant. That's all I can say. I'm not even, I'm not going to try and act it out for you, okay? It's not going to work. I'm not like a professional comedian. They couldn't pay me enough. <laughs> That's what they did with Bumblebee. What? that they didn't, oh, I know, that we didn't have a blend. Is that what you're talking about? It was kind of a bummer, but really, if you use, or as I found, um, I found that Dark Daffodil Delight is a, is really a very close, close um, color to uh, Bumblebee. So, I may do. I may do. Okay, I'm gonna use my paper piercing mat. This is not available yet. Okay, when it is, I'm going to order it for Anne. Anne wanted a couple of things, and that's one of the things. So I'm watching for you, Anne. Uh, but it's not available yet. But if you don't have it and you really need it, just use your catalog. <laughs> okay? Hello, KZ. Yay! Okay, so KZ, we are doing, oh, we are doing a haul. I've got a haul. And... We are just about finished with it for tonight, but we are going to do a little bit of quick comparison. 
So also, I will remind you, but this is what I do with my photopolymer stamps. Photopolymer stamps, just by their nature of the production process, you, I don't know that you can see it, but they have kind of a film on the top of them that resists the ink. Have you ever noticed that? Yeah. One way you can use it is by just using the stamps over and over, and that will help to get rid of that. But when I first get them out and before I take them off of the sheet, I just take them and give them a really good scrub on my chamois. You could also use the stamp and scrub. Might even be better, you know? Uh, this guy, remember this guy? Oh yeah, we remember him. So you can take your, um, yes, there she is. She's at least listening to me enough to know that when I mentioned her name and her order. So this might be a really good thing to do. Oh yeah, I bet that's even better. So if you don't have the stamp and scrub, I mean, we've been using the chamois like ever since it came out, right? But please don't forget about the stamp and scrub. Some some stamps that are really intricate, I find that I like to use the stamp and scrub to clean them. But also, this is a great way to, I guess, precondition your photopolymer stamps. And again, I'm just leaving them on the acetate because then I don't have to put them on a separate block, right? They're ready. They should be ready to go. And, um, you know, of course, you always need grid paper, but, um, you know, to, to test it out. But since we're not making a card here, we're just stamping on regular weight, basic white. Yes, of course, it's Stampin' Up! cardstock, okay? I know some of you are asking, does she use some cheaper cardstock? No, no. Because first of all, the price is already great. And second of all, why would you want to waste your time with some cheap paper that, you know, doesn't show off your work? Get the good stuff. We've got it. You want it. I'm happy to provide it for you, okay? All right, let's just take this little guy. This just looks like a really nice little I want to say it's like a Coreopsis. Now, it could be any flower, you decide, okay? We are just going to start with maybe the friendliest color in terms of cleaning it. Parakeet party, ooh, parakeet party. I love a green, wow! <laughs> yes, look at that, I'm in love, parakeet. Stampin' Up! is the best cardstock. Absolutely. You know what? If Kathleen's, if you're near, if you are new here, I just want you to know. If Kathleen says it, it's a fact. And Kathleen has said it. Okay? So, it's a fact. Now, we have the Starry Sky. Oops. I almost missed a little bit there. Oh, yeah. It's like a very intense violet. Is it not? Look at that. Okay, let me also tell you um, one more use for um, the Take Your Pick tool is there are labels back here, and there's a plain label. And the plain label is in case you want to put it in here, because when you have all of these ink pads open, sometimes you can tell the difference, but if you're working with a bunch of different blues, you cannot. Uh, I mean, it's, you know, you have to keep looking at the label so if you put one of these labels inside, then it's totally fine. Now, normal people use the one with no words on it. See, there's a couple of those. I like to use the one in French because as you know, just suis en francophile, right? I am a francophile. I love everything French. And so I feel like um, this gives me, you know, then I can learn the colors in French. And they are not always a straight translation, by the way. Just like I think basic gray is gray mouse. So just a little, you know, you're not gonna get that from every, every other demonstrator. I'm just gonna let you know. Stick with me. I will tell you so many useless facts. I mean, you will be amazed. 
Okay, but then I put the English color, the English label, I'm sorry, on the outside. Starry sky. Oh, makes me think of Van Gogh. I know his painting is Starry Night, but it does look like it's from his painting. Okay, that's enough probably about how to prep, right? And so then when you have these open, then you can see at least the color. And I will know that what Saint-Stellaire, Saint-Stellaire is Starry Night. Okay, now let's do Orchid Oasis. Oh, I gotta make sure I clean that. That would be a real nightmare. Love that green. Yes, absolutely. These, seriously, when I stamped that, I think I smiled. Like, I can't help it. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm kind of glad I don't have the camera on me tonight because I'm acting a fool. Oh, I love. Look at how those two play together. They're like slightly different um, hues of the same color, aren't they? A little lighter. You've got the Orchid Oasis. And then, boom, you've got Starry Sky super dark and then that beautiful green I feel like these colors are definitely gonna play well together let's try the old Tahitian Tide gorgeous when you know it's gonna be good when the ink pad is gorgeous right oh my gosh what <gasps> yes yes Queen look at that I love it oh my gosh yeah it would be beautiful for the pansies you know, I mean, absolutely. And the pansies are carrying over. So it's going to be a fantastic way to liven up those pansies. I can't wait. Thanks for the heads up. Now let's try sweet sorbet. I don't have room for it. Oh, I was making, I was doing so well making a pretty little stripe. I should have done it, gone the other way. Wow. That's a good color. I love all of these together. In fact, I think I'll probably only make things <laughs> with these five colors all month. <laughs> and that, my friends, is our brand new In Colors. Oh, now you have to tell me what your favorite is. Lots of people are liking the green. Okay. And um, I know that Andrea told me she was really starting to like the Orchid Oasis, which... You know, I'm not blaming you. It's beautiful. So um, I'm going to color with these real quickly. And you're going to tell me in the comments, of course, what are your favorite colors. Now, I am not going to color with my blends on the piercing mat because the blends, as you know, do bleed through. So now I'm going to grab some grid paper. And um, just kind of do some little swatches for you. I'm here to help. Leslie loves Parakeet Party. Kathleen also. Carla, all of them. Carla is so diplomatic. But you know what? She's right. I love all of them too. Little secret. I do. Really, I would tell you. Because you guys know I don't care for Garden Green. And I also don't care for, um, what is that pink that looks all brown part? Uh, is it the bride, the bridal one? I'm drawing a blank right now. That tells you how tired I am because I know these colors backwards and forwards. Um, blushing bride. Those two colors, we can, we can get rid of them. I like blushing bride when it's just in cardstock. But not as an ink okay I hate to be negative but my point is that I will tell you true I'll tell you if I don't like something and also you'll see me not working with it hello okay those are really close this is the dark and this is the light and of course they do um, they change colors a bit once they dry so let's see what happens there Bras, yes, Blushing Bride. It is. I like the other one, Petal Pink. It's definitely an apricot color. They should call it something apricot. 
But um, again, you know what? No one called me, or if they did, from the home office. Um, they must have called me, and I must have been out when they asked me what they wanted me to name that. So there we go. That's definitely a light and a dark. See, and this one's changing too. And as well as the um, sweet sorbet. I've got to learn my colors. Kathleen says, I've not always liked the annual catalog until now. This is one of the best annual catalogs. You know what? I mean, I don't have that problem. I like a lot of things. But I have to say, when I got it, I was, I felt the same way. I was like, am I just happy because it's new or because I'm really liking these things? I feel like the products are going to be like super cohesive. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is dark and light, Orchid Oasis. And then let's bring in that last color. Um, whoops, Starry Night. This one's going to be intense intense hold on last year's wasn't as inspiring that's a nice way to put it yes and again maybe it's because we were still in COVID yeah <laughs> it's probably that was probably my issue is and I'm not saying we're not still dealing with COVID but I do feel like I'm gonna be able to see some people this year oh my gosh I'm in love with that Okay, so if you take a look at that versus, let me get Night of Navy. Where are you? Okay, so here's Light and Dark, Night of Navy. See, they're going to be a lot less. They're like a lot more blue-gray than blue-purple. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Definitely different. Yep, if the eye doctor asks you there or there, you could definitely see a difference. Not like when I go there, right? And he like stresses me out. He stresses me out. Okay, there we go. Look at these beautiful flowers, you guys. I hope that you've enjoyed this. I, I totally, I could have opened the box by myself, right? But I wanted to be with my friends and have you guys tell me what you like. And let you know that I'm going to have lots of ideas for you guys. And kits you can purchase. And we are going to do lots of fun things with all of these colors and all of these products. And more because I have a list. A very long list. And so if you are loving these colors and you're thinking like, well, I'm not a demonstrator. I don't know. I don't know about all that. That sounds like a lot of work. Um... It's not a lot of work. <laughs> and so if you have any, if you have any, ever have any questions about that, I really want you to feel like you can come to me without fear of repercussion, okay? Or fear that I will be like a dog with a bone and I won't leave you alone. My, um, my stance on a lot of things is always to give people information and let them decide. That was lots of things. That is how I handle stuff, right? So I handle Stampin' Up! the same way. I give you the information and then you decide. But I do want you to know that everybody is welcome on my team, okay? Man, woman, green, yellow, blue, cats and dogs. So um, if they can sign a legal contract. But anyway, we won't get into that. Anyway, I just want you to know that I have appreciated you so much tonight. I'll go through the comments. I'm going to see what everyone's favorite color is and um, see what you've had to tell me. And once again, just quick reminder, please share this. I would love it when I get off here. I would love to see that it's been shared like 20 times. Okay. We've done it before. We can do it again. Um, so thank you in advance for doing that, my dear friends. And I will definitely see you again later on this week. Okay, everyone. Until then, have a wonderful time uh, with these in colors or with last year's in colors or anything that you're creating. Okay. All right. See you soon.